Previously on my £1,000 Intel Skylake PC build, episode 1, the component list. This is where I showed you all my components that were going into my brand new editing and gaming rig. Episode 2, the time lapse build. This is where I shot a time lapse of the PC being assembled. I also then showcased the PC fully finished at the end of the video. This episode is going to be a battle of the CPUs. So, we're going to be pitting the Intel i5-6600K against the AMD FX 8320 and I'll write in the description why I'm actually doing this. So I'm going to be testing them both in gaming to see which CPU comes out on top. So let's quickly run over both of the system specifications. So on the Intel side we have the i5-6600K and on the AMD side we have the FX 8320. Both of these are going to be running standard speeds, there's going to be no overclocking whatsoever. Both of these systems have 16 gig of RAM, on the Intel side we've got DDR4 and on the AMD side we've got DDR3. Both of these systems also have a gigabyte motherboard, so on the Intel side we've got a Gaming 7 Z170X and on the AMD side we've got the 990FXA motherboard. Both of these systems are using the XFX R9390X graphics card. Both systems are using the same Kingston SSD and the same Western Digital 1TB green and also the same XFX 850W power supply. So before I show you the comparison I'm going to quickly take a couple of seconds to thank XFX for supplying me with the awesome R9390X graphics card and the 850 watt power supply. Without them this series would not be possible and all their links will be down in the description. So let's get into it now. Right, so now you've seen both systems perform, I'm just going to talk about a couple of inconsistencies I've had in the data. Now for Metro Last Light, I've done some research and apparently quite a few other people with this graphics card are having similar sort of issues with that, so just take those results with a pinch of salt. Also GTA as well, I've been doing some research and people are having issues with AMD drivers and the benchmark. Don't know why. Uh, if I can find the article I read, I'll link it in the description. But that's why the data is just a little bit inconsistent. Now, what you didn't see in the little clip I showed is actual uh, frame jumps, it seemed. Uh, now, I did experience this very mildly with AMD, but it was much more severe with Intel and you can actually see this playing on screen now and you can just see the frame sort of jumping and it's really jarring and yeah it's just something to do with the drivers and uh, the benchmark suite on GTA I don't know why but I'll link the article if I can find it in the description now what I will say is actual gameplay doesn't experience these issues whatsoever 
And what I will say is, even though the frame rates are quite similar in some cases between AMD and Intel, Intel just plays much nicer, it's much smoother, and it's just rendered much nicer as well, so the quality is nicer and everything just looks better. Like I said, even though the frame rates are quite similar, I think you're getting a much nicer gaming experience on Intel. Now that's not saying AMD is bad, it's just what I'm saying is, Intel is a much nicer experience. Now if you want to save some money, you can get a really great performing AMD system like I had here and you can really sort of max out 1080p games quite easily. Now with Intel you're spending a little bit more money but you can actually max them out and get a much nicer looking gaming experience while still getting those high frame rates. So there you have it guys, that is sort of what I got from doing this. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see the rest of this series. So this is only part three and it's going to be quite a long and in-depth series looking at gaming and productivity and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'd just like to thank XFX again for supplying me with a graphics card and for the power supply. And I'd like to thank all you guys for watching and commenting and all your support as well. So thanks again and I will see you all on the very next video.